Oh my goodness, we are about to feed a tortoise. We're really excited about this and we're kickstarting a big summer camp series. We're starting today. So all this week, next week, we're going to be featuring some cool summer camps because we know parents out there. It's mid April. You probably have already planned and maybe you need another couple weeks. You've got to find a camp. This is definitely a fun one. So we're here at the zoo talking to some kids. Tell me your name. Bo. Bo. Hi, Bo. Libby. Libby. What about you? Brady. Brady. Arrow. Who wants to feed a tortoise? Has anybody ever fed a tortoise before? I have. Oh, you have? Okay, so she's a pro. So we're gonna walk over here. This right here is Elvis. Elvis is in his 60s. He's an old guy, but apparently, how long do we think he's gonna live on? Uh, they can live up to 150, 175 years. Oh my goodness, so he's gonna outlive all of us. Okay, kids, come on. So what's the key, Ron, when we wanna feed so, Elvis? They've got really good eyesight, so they're gonna see that bright green color. Um, he was enjoying his pets a little bit, so he'll take him a little bit to focus in here but once he does he enjoys his nice lettuce treat just like that oh and then when do I have to yeah well as soon as he grabs on it you are good to let it go because he will figure it out um, as you can tell he's a pro at this as well he's a pro <laughs> at this okay sweetie your turn okay you ready to feed him mm -hmm. are you nervous no. no, she is not nervous. So the tortoise here, I mean, they're kind of fascinating creatures. You say they like to eat, but they don't necessarily have to eat. No, they can go for long periods of time without eating. Um, even though they are grazers, they're going to be eating a lot of the time. They can go for long periods of time. Large ones can maybe even go up to a year without food or water. A year, 365 days without food or water. So Rod is going to be working with the kids as they feed the tortoise. But we want to talk to Yasmin over here. She is one of the ones in charge of the summer camps here at the Phoenix Zoo. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How you doing? I'm doing great. It's really fun to be here. It's a beautiful morning out there. Talk a little bit about what summer is like at the Phoenix Zoo. Oh my goodness. Well, if you're t having your summer here at the Phoenix Zoo, you can expect a huge adventure. We start our mornings off by hiking through many one of our many trails at the zoo. Um, campers get backstage adventures where they get to do things similar to this, where they can feed the tortoise, they can meet some of our other animals, and even see places that you normally don't get to see at a trip to the zoo, like the vet or even our nutrition services and then we also do a lot of learning activities to reinforce the themes of camp as well as bring animals to the campers indoors with our ambassador animals. So it's really kind of an exclusive experience that you wouldn't get normally if you're just bringing the kids to the zoo on a Saturday morning. Definitely this is a one-of-a-kind experience way more than just a normal trip to the zoo. You really get to be a part of so many different facets and you get to learn about really everything that goes into the zoo from what we do here to our conservation projects around the world. So we know that, I mean, summer is fast approaching, right? We can already sense the temperatures are starting to creep up. You start in early June and you go through basically end of July and you have eight different weeks. Yeah, so we go for eight weeks. Every session is just one week long. Anything that we're doing outside is typically going to be in the morning just to avoid that summer heat. And then, of course, we'll be playing in our Leaping Lagoon and our Yakula Caverns so that kids get a lot of time to cool off. And then we also find lots of ways to bring the outdoors in, like bringing our ambassador animals. So that way they are beating the summer heat, and they're, but they're still getting a full and wonderful adventure oh here. Oh, my gosh. It sounds so fun. <laughs> and when you're starting kindergarten, maybe you've got a little preschool at home if they're going into kindergarten in the fall this is perfect for them yes so we start with going into kindergarten um, our incoming kindergartners they get a half day of camp so their camp ends at 11 30 our first are going into first all the way through going into sixth graders they'll um, their camp will go till about 2 45. oh my goodness so you get most of the day here before we go by the way we do have all of this information on azfamily.com and we're going to continue to add as we feature more camps Bo come over here what did you think how was the carrot feeding good. it was good do you like tortoises yeah okay have you all pet the tortoise yes okay so ron what's the key when i pet the tortoise come over here so when you're petting them um they do like to uh when you're petting them on their shell they can feel th through that it's kind of the same oh. sensation you get when you're if you touch your kneecap um, so it's a nice little rub for them they also do like if he wants to he'll show off you can pet him here on his neck He's got kind of a wrinkly neck. Yeah, so it's, it's, it kind of feels oh. like leather. And you might notice he'll start kind of extending and sitting up. This is what's called a finching pose. So there will be little birds on the Galapagos Islands that will come and pick at their um, neck there and kind of take care of those itches for them. So they enjoy it when we take care of it for them as well. I actually really like the texture of this. Yeah. I don't know if that's weird, but I'm like, oh, I'm very intrigued. Ron, we appreciate your time. Kids, thanks so much for being here. Are you ready for summer?
Yeah. Okay. Some of them, I guess, still want to be in school. But again, uh, we're featuring these camps all week long. We're heading to Dance 101 in Tempe, so we'll feature them in the 9 o'clock hour. Guys, it's really fun to be out here at the zoo. We know it can get a little bit hot sometimes, but again, they've got all the activities in the morning, and then you can cool off in the afternoon. A fun way to spend the summer. Cut that, away to us ordering some more face uh, and neck I cream know, right? right now. That, that tortoise has <laughs> golfed way too much in the summer without a hat on. Yeah, okay. Sunscreen, people. Sunscreen.